But this is our lab, where we're going to put our bodies to the test to show you how your body works. Ah, that really hurts. Just don't try doing today's experiment at home, but it is something you do do all the time. Poo. We all do it. And it comes in all different shapes, sizes and smells. You can tell a lot about your health from looking at your poo. What you eat and drink can dramatically affect what it looks like. And that's why, for several days, Zahn and I have been on very different diets. Zahn has been on a very healthy diet. He's been eating lots of fruit, vegetables and fibre, and he's been drinking lots of water. Whereas Chris has been on a very unhealthy diet of sweet and deep-fried foods. And I've been collecting my poo. Have you? Yes. So today's lab might be a bit smelly, and if you don't like squeamish stuff, this isn't for you. But we think poo is fascinating, and we're going to tell you why. So let's take a look at the first poo. Remember, I've been on the healthy diet. You ready? Oh. Now it does look like poo. It certainly smells like poo. Poo smells because of all the bacteria in your digestive system. As everything gets broken down, they release a lot of gas and smelly chemicals. There are a couple of interesting things to say about it. Firstly, it's big. It's also wet and it's soft like porridge. That's because the fibre in my diet is holding the water in the poo. And that's very important because that means this poo is very quick and easy to do. Fibre makes your poo solid and drinking lots of water helps your poo glide through your large intestine better too. Where's your poo? I didn't do a poo because I didn't have any fibre in my diet. The reason I can't poo is because the junk food I've eaten is full of fats and sugars but very little fibre. So my guts find it harder to push through and it sits there for ages. So it's 1-0 to me. Yes. It's not a competition, Zon. Day two. Let's have a look. So it's less porridgey than it was on day one, but that's because I didn't drink enough water. There is something else interesting to see. Your body can't break down the fibre in food, like the shell on a piece of sweet corn. I've been eating a lot of sweet corn recently, so I can show you. If you have a look here, that is an undigested piece of sweet corn. Zahn can't digest the sweet corn because he doesn't have the right enzyme. None of us do, and that's why it's good to eat sweet corn, because of its indigestible, fibrous outer shell. I'm starting to get worried about Chris's poo. Where's yours? Day two, still no poo. So it's 2-0 to me. Zahn, do you realise if you win this competition, all you're going to get is more poo? And I'll be healthier. Day three for Zahn. Duh, I have a poo. <laughs> Well, let's forget about mine, then. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, Chris, that's awful. It does smell bad. Oh, that is a terrible poo. It's small, it's dry, it's hard, and it took me ages to do this, because I wasn't eating fibre. There wasn't anything to absorb the water and help me push it through. And this footage is taken with a special camera. It's a live shot of the inside of my intestine, and it shows how it's all clogged up with poo. This is because of the lack of fibre in the junk food, which means my gut is taking longer to squeeze it through. It's just so much work for such a bad result to put the lid on. You don't want to poo like this. So it's lots of fibre and plenty of water from now on. Absolutely. <laughs>